guys, this is Matt from Studios, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be playing some more Prison Architect. In the last episode, you know, we just kind of really stayed where we were. We went ahead, got this shower room. Uh, well, we started working on it. We didn't really get it working yet, but we started working on it. A lot of people died, actually. A shit ton of people died, including prisoners, which, yeah, well, like I said, I, I, I really don't give a shit. I know that sounds horrible, but if they die... It's not a big deal. The repercussions of them dying go away in a day. So... It really doesn't matter that much. And I'm not selling shares to my prison anyways. So... It doesn't really matter to me, personally. But, um, like, if you kill guards, then you have to pay for them, obviously. But... I don't know. That's just... I know that sounds horrible, but that that is just the way the game works. Like... That is not in any way related to real life, like, no, that is, no, just, yeah, that's just solely for this game. Anyways, as I was saying, um, we found the tunnel, so I decided to go ahead and search all the toilets, right? Because I looked up online, I'm like, how do you find tunnels? And they said to search the toilets, right? So the shakedown searches every single thing, every, every single object where a weapon can be hid in your whole entire prison, but it, there's only a chance of a guard finding it when you search it. So, ideally, you, you want to search toilets over and over until you find that tunnel. Uh, and holy shit, okay, we are searching this whole fucking prison cell, or this whole cell block. Okay, maybe I've made my... Oh, we don't even have fucking metal detectors here! That's the problem! Shit! I know it's minimum security, but we have to have fucking metal detectors. That is bullshit. You have to have metal detectors in this game, though, guys. If you have a prison that has no metal detectors, install them. They are expensive as hell, but they are worth it. They prevent so much shit from happening. Anyways, we are searching all those toilets. Holy fuck, man. This is... Holy Jesus! This whole freaking cell block is filled! That is not good. That is not freaking good at all. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Jesus, man. That is fucking insane. I wasn't expecting to have that many tunnels, but... I guess that's what I get for not having metal detectors. <sighs> that's disappointing. Anyways. <laughs> there's that. I will be back in the morning. Alrighty, guys. We're back here in the morning. And I actually found out how to get confidential informants. And to be able to do that, we need to have our punishments upped, I think. Serious injury should be four hours. And I'm still going to keep that low. Um, three hours, found tools. That's going to be solitary now for four hours. So we're going to stiffen up our policy here. Just a tiny bit. Serious injury, that's going to be solitary. So we'll just make that small change. Because you need your prisoners to be in... Um, what you might call it? In solitary for long enough so that way they break down. And then you can recruit them as a confidential informant. So, our punishments have to be a little bit stiff if we want to get confidential informants. Which sucks because if they are, um, you know, in solitary, they aren't really going to get their needs. So, yeah. Oh, more shit's happening. This always happens every single fucking morning, dude. These guys are not morning birds. Every single morning a fight happens. They're showering in the fucking shower room that's not even done yet, man. They better not, like, go all ape shit crazy and start killing some more of my fucking workers. That better not happen. Hey, what the fuck are you guys booing at? <laughs> oh, oh, someone's getting tased. Super speedy tase mode. Yeah, maybe we should get armed guards, though, just to, uh, you know, 
cut down on the amount of prisoners. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking horrible person. Um, I, I think they're expensive. They are very expensive. But uh, we will grab two. We will grab two. Um, so I think. Ooh, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I am not sure what I want to do here. Um, I think. I think what I want to do is, right, is have an armored guard in the yard. I think that would work. And then have the other armored guard right outside this dormitory, patrolling up and down in front of that dormitory, right? So I think that'll work the best. Because those are the two areas that seem to get the most crime. Like, down here, right next to that dorm area. And then the yard and the shower room. I don't want to get another armored guard, though, because they are ridiculously expensive. And, oh, another fight happening. Another fight. So, let's actually take a look at our needs here. Let's see, what do people want? They want sleep, food, exercise, recreation, freedom, hygiene. Here, maybe instead of... Ooh, Ooh, that's... I don't know. Because we don't have a lockup period. Our prisoners are kind of free to do what they want all day, really. Um, here, let's have them wake up earlier, right? They'll go over to bed uh, earlier, and then they'll wake up earlier. So that way they'll have three hours to shower. And then they'll eat. And then they'll go to the yard. So yeah, I think that'll work out better. Um, I think one of the main reasons we're not meeting our hygiene requirement, though, is we don't have enough showers. So that's also, I believe, a part of the equation here. And also, I'm building my uh, second classroom over here, if you can tell already. Jesus, man. Yeah, so it's, re it's really fucking hectic in the prison at this point. Really, really, really hectic. Here, I'm just going to leave this locked open, because our workers need to be able to get in there. And also, I think right next to this, right, I'm going to go ahead and create... Huh. Maybe up here, actually? Yeah, like that. We'll do that. Okay, except that's... uh. That's a little off. We need to have it uneven on one side. Right, so we'll do that. And then we'll have regular doors. Right there. And right there. And this is going to be another dormitory area. And then we should probably also put another cell block down here. Yeah, also, we can add more morgue slabs. I mean, it's not a necessity, but we can definitely add more. We have the money right now. Um, I'd also like to go ahead and look at my phone taps here and connect them with the new phone boots that, that I just made. So there we go. Right, so I think as well we should go ahead and create another parole room so that way we can get even more paroles going and make more cash. Because paroles are a really good way to make cash in this. They are a really, really good way to make cash. So, um, let's go ahead and select the clone tool, right? And then just clone that whole area right there. Oh yeah, we might need to... Yeah, we're going to need to make the foundation, first of all. Okay. How big is that room? 10 by 11. Okay. And then let's just make another one right next to that one, right? Why not? So just like that. And then over here, we can actually, we can have another mail room, right? So how big is that one? Oh, that one's also 11 by 10. Okay, we might have to make that a little bit smaller, though. So yeah, we'll just make that 8 by 10 And then we'll have the door on the side like that. 
Okay. Sweet. Why are there a bunch of red X's on that shit? Oh, it's food waste. Okay, they have to dump that. Oh, we didn't put any garbage cans. Fuck. I completely forgot that. Okay, that's a <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. Um, let's let's fix that, right? So let's put three in there, and then three out there, and then I don't think I put any up here. No, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. You should probably put garbage cans in the kitchen itself as well, though. Alrighty. Well, there we go. I, I didn't realize I hadn't put garbage cans in there, so they have no place to put the food waste. Yeah, that's, that, that's not very good. Not very good at all. So, uh, the door I have for that is right in the middle, of course. I believe that's in the middle. Yes, it is. Alrighty, so things are looking pretty good. Things are looking really, really good, actually. I want to get this shower area built up. So I think we'll hire 10 workmen. Honestly, I think we need it. We're putting a lot of, you know, jobs on these guys right now. We really don't have a lot of workers. So I think we should go ahead and hire a few more. And someone's getting... Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do they have to do that? They're coming in here to shower on their own free time? <laughs> they come in the unfinished shower room. I didn't know they could go into the shower rooms on their free time. I didn't think they really did that, but apparently they do. Okay, that's a bit odd, but, uh, okay. Oh, no, we've... Oh, there's another fucking... There's another thingy-mabobber. Time to search more toilets! It's gotta be coming from this, this cell block, right? Because, I mean, it's right there, so... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Free for ya. Snipers will no longer fire warning shots. Wait, you can get snipers? The fuck? What? What? Huh? Snipers will no fire... Oh, okay, maybe... Maybe snipers are to come in the future. Maybe that's why that's there. I have no freaking idea, man. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and now we can, you know, obviously clone this area, right? So we'll do that. Right there. And then place that over there. Okay, sweet. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the clone tool is it's stupid. It is absolutely stupid the way it works. So there we go. I think that'll... Oop. Oh, fucked it up a little bit. Okay, let's go into building, right? Get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. And get rid of that door. Okay. So... Get rid of that desk. Or actually, nah. Nah, we'll keep that there. Okay. So that, that'll be that classroom, right? And then we can go ahead and have another foundation education course. So we can get more prisoners trained up. We can get more prisoners working. More prisoners producing. We should also make another garden area as well. Maybe maybe we'll make a long garden area right here. I mean, we can do that right now. Why not? So let's go ahead and do that. Right. And then place regular doors on each end. And, ooh, fight happening. And it looks like a few guys overdosed. Two guys just over, over, la, 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 overdosed. Also, if I have free fire on, does that piss people off? I don't know if it does. 
I don't know. I'm not gonna keep it on because it just flashes and it really annoys my eye, but... Yeah. I'll probably be turning on Free Fire now, actually. Alrighty. Well, I will come back in the morning. See you guys then. Alrighty, guys. We are back here in the morning. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and go into my class schedule, right? My programs. And we are going to go ahead and... Let us see. Ooh. Taser. Oh, yeah, of course, it's over here. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. I want to go ahead and, right, and, do, 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 where is it, where is it, where is it? Workshop safety induction. I want to start another foundation education course. So, we'll, we'll do that. We will do that. Um, let's take a look at our regime again. Here, let's see. So, free time. Yeah, I think that's the only time, actually, that's... That's gonna work here for our guys. Okay. That'll be fine. And, yeah, it looks like that problem got taken care of very quickly. So, let's put on free fire. Oh. Some shit's happening up at the shower room. Get our armored guard over here. Get him over there. Oh, man. Come on, armored guard. I want to see him shoot somebody. Come on. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? Wait, what's this phone booth doing here? Oh, they're moving it to the canteen. Oh, jeez, I'm... Okay, this is a this is a time for Armored Guard, the savior. He's gonna come in. Look, he's gonna come in and pew 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 everywhere. Not that kind of pew pew pew, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, this this shower room's almost done, by the way, as you can see. Oh my god. Aw, he still didn't kill anyone, man. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. I wanted to see some bloodshed. Ah, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and put some metal detectors on this door right here. Alright, so we do that, we do that. This is gonna be our dorm area, so we definitely need those there. Then we'll go ahead and get some bunkies. Like such. Oh wow, this actually is gonna work out pretty well then. Hmm. Okay, that's facing the wrong way. Apparently you can't make it face the right way. And there's a, still a bunch of fighting going on, so I'm gonna pause this while I build. Shit, I fucked that up. Okay, there we go. That is better. And then we'll have the middle filled up as always. So this is actually going to give us a shit ton more prisoner capacity. And we can actually start accepting even more prisoners. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm digging myself too deep of a hole here though. Because accepting this many prisoners obviously can become a problem if they all get pissed off. So, yeah, let's not have them all get pissed off, and I think we'll be fine. Right, so up here I'll have my toilets. Oh my god. Oh, alright. So we'll have that up there, and we'll run our pipes to the toilets. And then we'll also have our phones up here, because obviously we need those. Like so. And we'll have a shit ton of phones in there. So I think that'll actually work out fairly decently. And oh no, now we're out of money. And there was a death. Oh, they killed a cook, man! What the fuck? Free fire, free fire. This is bullshit, man. You killed you killed a chef, bro. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a battle every single morning.
It's just people aren't really getting their needs, unfortunately. Hygiene needs. For some reason, they have three fucking hours to shower, and they still don't get their hygiene needs. Like, the shit don't make no sense. We need to hire another chef, though, but we're poor AF now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alrighty, well, we shouldn't be in debt for too much longer, actually. Did we research that tax relief? No, still eight hours to go on that. That should actually give us how much how much profit does that give you? Takes advantage of government tax incentives and reduces your effective corporation tax uh, tax rate to just fifteen percent. You will save one thousand five hundred uh, in taxes per ten thousand daily profit. So we're actually going to make an extra three thousand because we're making twenty one. So we're going to make about three thousand, just a little over actually. So that is not bad. That is very, very nice, actually. Um, let's go ahead and assign this area out right here as a garden. So that's going to be our second garden area. Okay. And then we'll put tables on the top here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're poor. Can't do that. Never mind. We won't do that. Instead, we will go ahead and end the episode off here. If you guys liked this episode of Let's Play Prison Architect, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out, and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!